What's going on, world, man? Welcome to the Let's Be Real Show, the first official show of Let's Be Real Show. I go by the name of Shizzy, the host, the Miss Lovely. I ain't Name Monique in the building. Okay. Okay. And we got our fucking special guest here. You know what I'm saying? Better late than never. Better late than never. That's what I was clever. Okay. So go by. It's better and better. Okay. This will happen when you get, you know, one of the top battle rappers in the league. No. Oh, on, 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 on your Don't show. start this. Hey, man. John Jonathan. <laughs> I'm here. Let's be real, show. With the beautiful name Monique. The ugly chizzy. <laughs> but we're here. Real Star Hit Radio. What's up, though? What's going on, man? What you got going on, man? A lot, actually, uh, man. A lot, man. Uh, one of my bat, my last battle just dropped today. Mm. Past day. Who? Past, past day. day that I did at uh, E3C. You talking about the, 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 the one rounder? The one white, white boy? White boy. Yeah. yeah. Who's there? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, the yeah. one I didn't get invited to. Oh, yeah, she was tight, too. I'm going to tell you that. She hit me and was like, where's that at? I be like, me? I don't understand. Let me let me just chime in real oh, quick. Man. Cause I've been a fan <laughs> of John John the Don for a very long time. We've been friends forever as well. Mm -hmm. Back in teenage years. Mm -hmm. And still to this day, mm -hmm. what this like eight years later? <laughs> I still haven't seen him battle. Live. Okay, now whose fault is that though? Yours. Is it John really? John, you have never invited me. You know if you invite See, me, that's I'm the thing there. I don't get when people say that. Like, if, and I'm gonna back you up on that. Yeah, yeah, because it's like, okay, if I got something going on, I'm gonna post it. Exactly. I have. I'm did pretty you post, sure you see it. Did you post anything about that A three? Yes. Yeah. And I did too. Yes. Everything. I've battled how many times out here? You ain't been the one? You just told on yourself. I didn't tell myself. I'm <laughs> saying I have yourself. not been invited to any. Come on, why you gotta be? Why you can't just invite yourself? You know what? Why I gotta, gotta battle? I'm, why I'm, I gotta invite myself? The women, like, I wish so I was I not the only personally. lady. Right. I'm not saying everybody. I'm not concerned about everybody else. <laughs> okay. I'm not concerned about everybody else. I'm talking about me. <laughs> That's what we talking about here. Yeah. We talk about me. Yeah. See, cause. I have a big birthday celebration up coming up, and you are definitely getting a text, okay? Now I am. Person, no, <laughs> not now. Why, why you, just... you was always getting a text. When did you ever invite me? John, John. <laughs> I, I have sent you a birthday text like two years in a row. No, I don't know about Facts. I promise you, I send you my flyers. I, don't know. I personally send them. I don't post That's them. That's you on your promo game. You're doing your thing. Yeah. That is, you know, yo, you, know, you see you how they try to do it. Ain't like I'm the only one. I'm I'm in the midst of a bunch of. I you're not in a group yeah. chat. I'll be sending it to you to John John Don. Yeah, it's okay it, though. It don't gotta be a group. It's not gonna be. A, I could tell if it's a group chat. You could do the copy paste. I know what's going <laughs> on. We all know what's going on. We all know Come we on, get that. Man. Like, bro, like, you that. sent the same personally. Don't do that. You sent the same. The same. <laughs> yeah, like to everybody. Know. Like, Y'all ain't shit. It's cool. Every, it's two against is that, one. Is that what we up here to do to be fake today? It's no, two against one. Let's be real. Let's be real. Be real. Be real. Be real. Be real. Be real. I'm being real right okay. now. You just like, you know I love you. Okay. You yeah. know I fuck with you so hard. It, it's cool. I'm just mad. I'm really mad at Chizzy because he know better. I ain't gonna front this shit's fault. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't gonna front Chizzy's fucked up. You fucked I'm up. really mad at Chizzy because you know better. You should have told me that you well, was going. That's a fact though. And then you snapping uh, about the shit yeah, like, yeah, 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 my nigga going in. Yeah, fuck them. Fuck them, bro. They ain't with the movement. They ain't with the movement, bro. They gotta just what, follow, follow our Instagrams. Whatever, man. But I heard you killed that, though. Yeah, it got ugly for homie up there. Like, how ugly? Did they boo? Nah, he did good. Oh, okay. I hate that song. Nah, he did good. He did good. He just, you know, he came to my backyard. And it just wasn't. Like, the battle might have been different if we battled in Canada, being where he, that's where he's from. Oh, he's a Canadian rapper? Yeah, he's a Canadian rapper. He's actually the best in Canada. No, he's not bad, though. He's definitely not bad. Man, but, he's one but, of the best. We're not about to take away from him just because I smoked him. Hey, yo. You know what I'm saying? It's not like, you know, I had to go there yeah. to get that. Yeah. You said one bar that was crazy. That one song about something a designer track and then patch your head and then <laughs> some other crazy <laughs> shit. Not patch your head. <laughs> oh, yeah. 
Yeah, yeah, that shit was crazy though. That shit was definitely crazy. But what else you got going we'll on, man? Oh uh, yeah, um, I actually just got a call to put together a battle rap event. The first battle rap event, South by Southwest. Ooh. Um, wow. Yeah, that's so that's big. yeah, that's crazy. I've been trying to do it. I tried to do it last year, but it's too much to get the venues out there. It's, yeah, like, really everything got to too crazy. Yeah. You know what I mean? And then we ain't, I ain't laying no spots yet. Anytime you see a bullpen battle league event, it's coming out of my pocket. So I'm not about to pay no eight thousand dollars for no just for a venue out there. Right. And then you can't really sell tickets because if you got that South by Southwest pass, that gets you access to all events out there. So mm -hmm. you ain't really so it really don't make no sense like money wise, but being that they contacted me, they gonna put it together. I'm mm -hmm. just gonna tell them what to do. Get him, get him. <laughs> you right, know what I'm saying? Right, but, right. You know what I mean? So yeah, that's gonna be crazy though. It's gonna, definitely gonna be the biggest battle rap card of 2017. And when is and when is this taking place? March, March, March 17th. March 17th. Now you March was out 17. there last year. Or was it two years ago? Two years ago. Two years ago. Two years ago. Yeah. How was that experience? It was crazy. You know what I'm saying? That's how I know um, a battle rap event will go crazy out there because the love we was getting. I was out there with Arsenal, um, Big T, Cortez. You know, a lot of the other battle rappers. And we, the love we was getting was crazy. Like, right. people was stopping us. You know, so I just knew for a fact, like, okay, that's when last year is when I tried to do the, the battle event. But to get to to get the venues, it was just too crazy. So, right. I know it's going to be crazy. This right. Year. Real quick, so, when, just piggybacking off of what you just said, when I, the love that y'all got shown out there, mm -hmm. does it ever, like, click in to you and be like, damn, like, I'm really, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm... I'm I don't want to say bigger than this, but I'm really bigger than maybe what I think I am. I mean, yeah, because it's it's surprising every time. Like, I, at the end of the day, I'm me, man. Like, I don't care where I'm at. I'm me. I don't care. I'll still go. I'll go to the fucking QT in my boxes if, if the, <laughs> it's hot outside. And I don't care, but I will get reminded and I'll be mad. Like, because I'll go there and people will stop me and some might even want a picture while I'm looking crazy. Right. And that's when, it, that's when it hit me. Like, yo, I got, I'm wilding. Man. Right. You know what I'm <laughs> I can't be doing that, but every time though it's crazy. Like I just went to the Bahamas. Mm -hmm. No lie, when I got off the cruise, swear to God, when I got off the cruise, I'm walking out to go to you know to the little straw market and all right, that. Right, right, right. Dude, stop me. Was a native, barely spoke English. John, John, the Dunn. Like he said it with right. the accent. I swear, that's all he said to me. And then he, wow. you know, he gave me the little, the, the little pound. Right, right, right. Yeah, I'm like, y'all, I'm in the Bahamas, man. I never, what? That's real. Right, you know that's, what I'm saying? That's like, dope. So it's just, every time, though, it's still, like, it's still, I don't know, I never get used to it. Like, you know, I won't start acting funny until I'm actually rich. When I'm rich, that's when, <laughs> that's when my attitude will change. That's, that's really, like, fuck everybody. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. Gonna lie. Gonna lie. attitude yeah, going to change. I mean, shit, like, you know, I mean. Hey. It's only towards certain people. It's not towards everybody. You know what I'm saying? Not it's really. like you got to be humble to certain people, but certain people you don't don't deserve for you to be humble. No, to. that's real. Like, you know what I mean? It'd be the people that you know that sh not shit it on you, but really just try to downplay what you was doing as if what you're doing ain't really that big just because they know you. Right, right, right. And those are the people once you. Those are the people you need to make it to shit on. Yeah. Like those are the people. That's that's your motivation. Yeah. Shit on them niggas. Yeah. Man. You know what I mean? Yeah, not everybody. But yeah. so, so basically, you got to shit on people list. Not a list, but you know. No, I just know. You know, you know who. Who's when who. that time come around, yeah, yeah. there's a certain niggas. Um, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Give them that look, like dog. <laughs> this ain't it. But you know, there's certain people you still gotta fuck with too. You know what I mean? No, that's a fact. That's a fact. That's a fact. That's a fact. That's, that's a fact. Friendly, but yeah. um, South by Southwest. South by Southwest. That's I'm in March. About that. Yeah, and it's gonna be. Um, I'm actually battling on the card too. Are you, are you I can't right? reveal that yet. Okay, because, okay, I respect that. You know, I actually just got the call about South by Southwest yesterday, so this is an exclusive. You know, what I mean, it's the first hey. time me saying it just yesterday. So the paperwork is still everything is in the works, yeah, but awesome. I spoke to everybody on the card. I got verbal agreements. Everything, everybody's with everybody's it. Everybody's so, with it. So everybody yeah, so just yeah. waiting on that check, on that yeah. chicken, on that oh, the chicken. Need the chicken. <laughs> the chicken. The chicken. <laughs> chicken. Need the yeah. Chicken. So um. Yeah. What about some new music? When we gonna hear some new music? I know. Um, Shrug Life too. I was gonna drop it this month, October. Uh, but I just felt like I wanted to re-record it. A lot of a lot of songs that I got is songs that I've been sitting on for a while. Mm. So now it's ready. But it sound you could tell like each song is recorded differently mm -hmm. to me at least. You know what I mean? Because it's like different times and points in my life when I right. recorded this shit. Right, right, right. My voice done probably changed a few times. So I want to re-record <laughs> everything and package it right. And I also, 
you know, got a, a few features in the works too, so it's, it's gonna be worth the wait. Okay. You know I mean, major features on there. I already got, uh, you know, Nick Grant. Of course, I already kid gonna be back on there. I got Gunplay, Styles P, uh, Jada Kiss. Ooh. Sheesh. Um, you know what I'm saying? So. Chizzy. Definitely no. not. I, 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 I'm going to challenge. I'm going to tell you one thing. I almost blocked you. Uh, uh, I don't know if it was the verse or if it was the hat. It was like a combination of both. Yeah, man, I didn't like listen, nothing bro, about that. Listen, bro. I almost deleted <laughs> my Instagram when I see that shit. I ain't on no Did you see her shit? Definitely. So her shit was popping. Definitely. What you do? Like right. three million? Thank you. Uh, Thank you. Three times platinum. Right. You're right. Though. You yeah, that's that shit crazy. Up. You yeah. should have dropped that as an album. Come on, y'all. Seriously, I'm not a rapper. That. She didn't expect it for the for it to be that at all. That I was just three million. Like you right shit. last three times. <laughs> it it would have been nice. Yeah. It would have. I could have got you, Chad. You could have sent me the raw footage. I throw that thing on the YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> I get the residual of the royalties, man. I'm a businessman. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I can't stand y'all. I really can't. Oh but you know, I already told you I love Just So Gone Challenge. Oh, yeah, the last two lines, I was like, oh, yeah, I'm going to. My shit went double wood, but hey. <laughs> double wood. I heard it, though. If you heard it. <laughs> you love I heard film. it. <laughs> I retweeted it. It was yeah, dope. Yeah, it was dope. It. That's what's up, though. That's definitely what's up. So. The title of the, of the mixtape is Shrug Life. Shrug Life 2. Right. You know what I mean? It's, it's the reintroduction. You know what I mean? I dropped Shrug Life. Uh, I think Shrug Life was my first like official mixtape. Like I've dropped mixtapes before. My Shrug Life was my first official mixtape. And it really was just a bunch of songs that I had. I just threw on there. Like it's whatever. But you know, a lot of people that's been listening to my music actually call that a classic. I'll go back and listen to it. It's some, it's some dope shit on there, but... I'm my biggest critic, so I, I listen to it different. Like, hold on, there's a lot of shit I would have changed, but right. for me to bring it back, it's almost like a reintroduction of Shrug Life because I'm gonna let the world know now that I'm on a bigger scale. Right, right, right. It's like it's a it's a branded thing for the whole Shrug Life movement as a whole. So what is Shrug Life like? Like, what is like what is that whole movement that you have? Going well, on Shrug Life is really about like it's really about living how you want to live. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? Like, it's really about not really going by whatever standards that's been, you know, that's been placed for you. Right. It's like, how is it a standard been placed for me? I don't, what if I don't want to go by that standard? Right. Like, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes I might have a song to where, you know, you know, the typical song is, you know, hook verse, hook verse, hook verse, when you, you know, in regards to music. What if I just want to get up there and just rap the whole beat? Or what if I just want to get up there and spit eight bars and just leave the beat? It's just because it, what it represents is I'm going to do what I want. I don't care about how it is, but I want people to, to incorporate that in life. Like, it's like, don't let nothing stop you at all from doing nothing. I like, I don't understand yeah, how. Yeah, yeah. It's if you want to do it, do it. Do it. And that's real, though, because he yeah, tells me that I mean, shit like, all the time, though. Yeah, just do it. It doesn't matter, like, Not what people no think about you or anything. Once you start thinking about what people, because that's what held me back for a long time. I always worried about what motherfuckers thought about me. Really? Yeah, like you know, what I mean, to a certain extent, it's like it, it's like my face card. I always want, as far as business goes, if I've done business with you, I will make sure you're happy in the end. So therefore, if I need to come back to you a few years later, right. everything is good. You're gonna be thinking, well, the last time I did business with this nigga, he made sure everything was good. So right. you know, I don't really like lying to motherfuckers. I don't do the, the sneaky shit or none of that. So that's why. <clears throat> That's what you know where it comes into play at where I care about what people will say about me. Like if I die, I want ten motherfuckers to say the same story about right. me. Right. Like you right. know, John John was stand up nigga. He right. 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 That's Cause, real. Because how you live your life, you write in the story. Right. If I mean, you're not writing the story, what the fuck is you living for? That's a fact. You gotta, gotta, you gotta serve some kind of purpose. What purpose are you serving? You gotta find that purpose. You know what I mean? So you gotta you know what I mean? Figure out a way to impact people's lives but yeah in a nutshell that's what shrug life is it's just like you know living how you want to live so it's like a lifestyle it's not like nothing people you can claim it's like if you live this life you're living the shrug life yeah you know what i'm saying it's like you are a part of what we got going on here and i'm gonna express that you know what i mean not only through music but through other ventures i'm gonna be doing you okay. know what i mean a lot going on with the shrug life network as a whole you know what I mean? I actually just signed a... Uh, oh, signing shit. Yeah, I'm, sign, sign, I'm signing, signing niggas, man. I'm signing sign niggas, man. Uh, yeah. These bloggers, these battle rap bloggers, PG bloggers, I just signed them to Shrug Life Network. So, 
we you know we'll get y'all more content on that and you know also working on the I've been working on the web series it's just that I got so much going I got the whole script right now for the web series mm, you know what nice. I mean it's just it's just on me I just be trying to do too much so once right, I right. once I really go get for that done. it's gonna go you know what I mean it's a lot of shit man it's a lot of shit shrug like music group yeah. you know what I mean still got that underway. You know what I mean? Shout out Third Lane Miles. Yeah. You know what I mean? My man right there. You know what I mean? So he, he on deck. He definitely on deck. Turn. Definitely on deck. All the way up. Thank you, too. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Um, Jeez, man. It's, it's, I have a chime in. Okay. What's I just up? want to ask a question. Just because, like I said, I've known you for so long. Mm -hmm. And I don't really know much about you as far as, like, what made you do this as far as battle rap battle rap uh like what started this shit um i've probably been battling for as long as i've been rapping but it was different because i was always <clears throat> when i was little i couldn't go outside because I, I grew up in the hood Right. Hood, 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 hood. <laughs> Tell everybody where you're from. Just... Yonkers. Okay. Yonkers, New York. You know what I'm saying? So I, grew, so I couldn't go outside unless my brother would take me outside. And my brother's about five years older than me. So okay. when he take me outside, I'm forced to chill with his friends. So I'm, I grew up chilling with niggas five years older than me. So right. I was always ahead. So when they started rapping, you know, as the, as the little bro, you know, you want to fit in. Right, right. So I want to rap. Not only do I want to fit in, nigga, I, like, I don't want to be like, oh... That's cute. He's rapping too. Right. right. You know, right, right, right. I'm like, oh, that nigga's nice yeah. too. So I was really always in my head competing with yeah, everybody. With niggas five or six years old. Yeah. Till it got to the point where niggas started thinking my brother was writing my rhymes. People was really thinking that, and I just be like, nah. Like, you know what I mean? But even after that, like in New York, you would go block to block. You know what I'm saying? And mm -hmm. with, with your best verses, and yo, who rap? And it'd be a whole situation. And I was the young nigga out there battling everybody. Till it wow. got to the point where Anywhere I walked in Yonkers, when they could see me, they was like, yo, John, John, let me hear something. And I knew that was going to happen, so every day I will go home at night, and I would write a fresh verse for the next day. So I was already trained to write and remember this shit, and, you know what I mean, in a right. small amount of time. But, yeah, I was just battling, going anywhere. Even when I first, you know, when I came down here, me and Mozzie, matter of fact, me and Mozzie used to go places. Every time we felt like we in a room full of rappers, yo, who rap? Every single, time. Every single Yo, time. Yo, who rap? fucking here rap? Yeah, and then once the nigga started saying he rap, and we just couldn't wait because we just, I know in our head, like at 15, 16, we was not going to run into another 15, 16 year old that was that fucking with like us. Right. It was no way in hell. Right? You know what I mean? So that was just, you know, that, and then once I, um, I became a fan of the shit online, you know, watching Reed Dollars and. The old, the old, yeah, the old, like I, I was old, watching it, you know what I mean? So, you know, mm -hmm. me watching it and being a competitor, you know, in the back of my head, I smoked these niggas. Like, yeah. I do all this. And then I just came across an email one day, and it just so happened, I, you know, I ran, um, I came across Grind Time, of course, when I started, I fell, fell upon um, Conceited mm -hmm. in his beginning days. And that's when I came across Grind Time. But Grind Time was everywhere else like it was in florida it was in cali it was right. in new york they had like grind time south or yeah something. no no not, well, not south but um they didn't they had it in florida but okay. what i'm saying when i was watching it i came across the email it was like they bringing it to georgia right oh it's lit <laughs> so you know so i sent the email and um i sent the email or whatever they don't get back to me um Next thing you know, I ended up talking to Saya, because me and Saya used to watch it or whatever. So Saya was like, yeah. He said all nonchalantly to me. like, yeah, you know, I got this battle coming up on Grind Time. I'm uh -oh. like, what? They ain't even hit me back. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I'm like, yo, what the fuck? Yeah, I, I feel like I smoked nah, you, you. Like, nah, I didn't get you. Nah, I didn't feel like that. You did it? Nah, 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 like that. nah, Saya, he, he just had the total package as far as he had the confidence and like I'm not the I'm not the type that's gonna sell you bullshit. If I know I got bullshit, it's hard for me to, to try to sell it like it's gold. Right. Right. I gotta have gold. When I have that gold, now I can sell the shit out of that yeah. gold because I know you know what you, you know. know I, I'll be passionate that. about it. Right. So, but he he knew how to package. I just wasn't really sure myself in that in that field. But once but come to find out though, they changed the email. So I really emailed the wrong email. Oh. Uh, you know what I mean? So when I got the right email, I hit him. I sent him a long ass. They'll talk to about today because the dude I actually emailed is my partner with Bullpen Battle League right now. 
Wow. Okay. You know what I mean? Because I, when I end up running into him after I had my battle league going, I'm like, hey, fuck it. Nigga, you was dead when I first started. Right. Come on. Yeah, you know what I mean? So, but I emailed them like, yo, dog, I don't know if you know who I am, but look, man, I'm about to come in there deep. I'm about to fuck shit up. And eventually, one day, I'm going to be hosting this shit. So they looking like, yo, who the fuck is this nigga? You know what I mean? So granted, my first battle, I did come in there deep. It was, <laughs> you know what I mean? I lost. I battled PC. Mm. Which PC, you know, he's one of my battlers now. I'm mm. open, but I battled PC and I lost. But, you know, they seen something in a nigga the way they kept calling me. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, and I just started getting mad. I'm like, yo, this nigga's really not fucking with me. How am I losing? That's when I got serious. I'm like, all right, now let me study the game a little bit. Right. Once I got into it, started rising, the money came in. I'm like, well, shit. This, this is it. it. <laughs>